So how do you flip a conference? What in the world does flipping a conference mean? It's kind of a weird term. Before I talk about flipping the conference, let's learn a little bit about this thing that I've helped create called the flipped classroom. There's a lot of hype about the flipped classroom. A lot of people are talking about the flipped classroom and how it can revolutionize and change classrooms. And you know what? I think they're right. You see, when I was a student, when I was a kid, I'm 49 years old, so when I was a student, uh, I found information in, in a number of places. I could find it either in the heads of my teachers, I could find it in the libraries, and I could find it in textbooks. But we live in a fundamentally different world, right? In this world, all you need to do is pull out your iPhone, and if you pull out your iPhone, you can find information. I mean, which of you has too little information in your life, right? I mean, you don't. And so, enter the flipped classroom, an answer that will help us reinvent the classroom. So, this is something I want to kind of encourage you to think about as you think about the flipped classroom. And it's this question, what is the best use of your face-to-face -face class time or of your teacher's face-to-face -face class time? Is it them standing up and delivering content as the content experts, as the lecturer? I would argue that's not the best answer. You see, flipped learning or the flipped classroom is we move the direct instruction from the group and we move it to the individual space. I still believe in direct instruction, but I think the place for it is in the small individual space. So now you understand the concept of the flipped classroom. Now, how does that apply to a flipped conference? I'm going to come back to that key question. What is the best use of your face-to-face -face time? Do you still need that person being the talking head standing in front? Now let me say this, I still believe there's a place for direct instruction or, or just content to be delivered. You are, after all, going to be bringing in experts into your conferences. But I think a better use of time, and we're going to mirror this in our, our session, is discussion. You see, oftentimes, most of the time, my experience at conferences is there's a lot of very smart people who come. Not just the guy standing up or the gal standing up in front, it is going to be all of us are coming to have a discussion. And so I want our session to be much, much more about a conversation instead of a presentation. You see the difference? And so now that you have the idea of what the flipped classroom could be, and you're, you're watching this video ahead of time, you're going to have the idea that you can discuss what are some pros or some cons, what are some stumbling blocks. I mean, the big question that I see is what if they don't watch the video? What if they don't watch, or, or you could use another learning object, by the way. The video is not the only thing you could use. I mean, it could be a reading or whatever. I think the key is that you make the session so engaging and so um, informative that if they haven't watched it, or they haven't read it, or whatever it might be, whatever learning object you use, that the, the, the people in the session will say, I should go do that. And so that, I think, is the key to flipping the presentation. So I want to give you a little homework. That's right, homework. So instead of just watching the video, which is this, I want you to go to a couple of websites and they're going to be more related to K-12 education, which is sort of my field. I mean, it is my field, but I think it gives you kind of a, a better sense of the flipped classroom and how that applies to um, conferences. You see, the key here is let's have a, a discussion about how the things that I've been doing with uh, flipped learning, the flipped classroom will really impact conferences um, that you guys are leading. So pay attention to these links, go to these links, and do a little reading. So homework is not just the video, you're going to do a little reading as well. I really look forward to seeing you guys um, in Denver this year.